What's up, LK Clan? How you doing? How you feeling? How you been? What's up, LK Clan? It's your girl Keisha Michelle, and I am back today with another Liddy Bitty. Let's get it. So today I am going to be making a recipe. This is actually like a dessert type recipe. Super simple and y'all, it was a hit with my family. So now today I'm making it for one of my sister's friends. Um, I think his birthday is today or something. So she wanted me to make one for him for his birthday because he would not stop talking about this dump cake y'all. It was just that good. And look, check this out. It's super simple to make super cheap to make all you need is this um, super moist butter recipe yellow cake a can of peaches I'm gonna be using this um, what is it? it's a 29 ounce can and then I'm gonna be using one and a half stick of butter this is the salted butter and then you're also gonna need some cinnamon this is the pan that I'm gonna be using got it from Walmart and I'm gonna make sure that I have this lid because like I said this is not staying here this is going to my sister's friend's house and the name of this is called dump cake and you literally just dump your peaches in the pan literally in the most literal sense ever okay so I'm gonna do that And then I'm gonna go through with my knife and I'm gonna kind of dice the peaches up a little bit. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I just feel like this kind of makes the peaches spread out a little bit more. Y'all, this recipe literally tastes like, I don't know, peach cobbler. And my mom, my mom who is definitely a picky eater, she absolutely loved this cake. The next thing that we're gonna be dumping here, we are going to literally just dump the cake mixture over the peaches. Y'all see how simple this is? And it is so delicious, like, you will be surprised at how delicious this really actually is, okay? Seriously. You wanna make sure that your hands are nice and clean before you do this, guys. My hands are clean. Um, and I, honestly, I would use gloves if I had them, but I don't have any gloves. But you're going to just go through, make sure that the, the cake mix is like evenly spread across the um, the peaches and then you're gonna firmly press it down into the peach juice into the peaches you want to do that and I mean like super firmly even if you want it to take like a large spatula and press down on it like this you can do that too that'll be fine okay So good. Okay, so I think that's good right there. So now <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and start cutting my butter. Okay, and you kind of want to you kind of want to do like thin pieces, or I don't know what is this like a half an inch. I don't even know if you can see that really well, but. That's like the thickness of the slice. And you're just simply going to lay that on top of the batter, okay? I've seen people use the squeezy, the squeezable butter in the squeeze bottle. But I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, do it manually. I don't mind. Oh, 
Okay, so here we have the cake completely buttered. So now I'm gonna take my cinnamon and we're just gonna just gonna sprinkle it. And you can really put however much you want to put on top of here. Um, if you like it real cinnamon, go for it. You can also add some nutmeg as well. Um, which I might actually add a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, sprinkle the top with cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. Just a little bit guys, not much. Preheat your oven to 350. Pop it in there for about 41 minutes and I will be back with the finished product. All right you guys, so I just pulled this out of the oven and as you can see, it is nice and done. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so that you can really see what we are working with. So yummy. When you pull this out the oven, you wanna make sure that you let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before cutting into it because it's really hot. So um, if I could, I would, but I cannot because this is not staying here with us. I would like cut it open so that you guys could see what it looks like nice and fresh. But I, if I'm not mistaken, I do have a picture um, of it when I first cooked it. And y'all, when I say it looks, it when I say it looks just like regular peach cobbler, and I will also say this, once you try this, you will never make another cobbler the same. You will always take the easy route because I've heard that this actually tastes better than an actual homemade peach cobbler. You can use any fruit, guys. This is such a game changer. You can use any fruit. You can use peaches, apples, uh, blueberries, um, pineapples, you can use anything, blackberries, cherries, strawberries. You can literally put any fruit that you want to put in this dish. As you can see, it's done. And also, I'm gonna show you guys. It literally creates a crust. Can y'all hear that? I hear it. And the brown that you see on top, it's not burnt. That's just the cinnamon. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more cooking videos from me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. And once again, it's your girl, Keisha Michelle. Let's hit that outro. Peace. Pull up when she calls me. Baby, you know I don't pull out when we love it. Touching, kissing, and licking. No one's even your pennies or something now. My God, my